Hello everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin and before I go any further, I have to say in a very serious voice, this channel is never and is never gonna be about what country is more beautiful. I sometimes test what songs are great for bluesification and every now and then I hit on a song that also has an important meaning for one country. So I did that for Danny Boy for Ireland and um, uh, Tchaikovsky, Swan Lake, I also bluesified. Both of them are linked under the video in the text box. And also, and finally, it's a tribute to my friends from the US, from, uh, from uh, the subscribers from the US, because uh, they represent the biggest country on my channel, so it's also a tribute to that. So I need respect from both sides, for those who are not from the US and appreciate maybe the music and also from you guys in the US that a German is doing something to a, this piece that me, I know means a lot to you. I hope I did it in a respectful way. Now let's go and uh, hope you like it. Hello everybody. So, um, how can I help you with this piece? Um, this is actually also one of those pieces uh, you learn best from the 50% uh, slowed down version coming afterwards. So instead, I would just like to tell you um, what I did to this song, which has, you know, it's an ode. It's a, um, it has something like an anthem uh, or a hymn to it. So very steady. Bam. So it's inviting here, and it's, it's bluesification really suits this piece. Of course, it's American music. It has a, which I will also show a little bit later, a lot of gospel chords. So it's perfectly, it's inviting a treatment like this to my taste. Hello, my American friends over there. I hope I did it with respect and with taste. So we have a look. You see? 
just very occasionally um, give it a little bit of ornamentation that sometimes probably reminds of um, the cultivated um, treatment of, uh, of Oscar Peterson. Again, you see, just dissolving the melody. And, and here we, um, uh, as I said before, I let uh, these straight chords shine through to always remind you uh, on what piece we are. And, and let's have a look at how, what I did to the chords. It's a, a, I stole a little bit from the harmonization from other versions and a little bit of, uh, from myself. Um, we are sta staying on the chord, uh, on the G as the root. So look at this. We start upbeat. We are here in uh, like, um, and here we start with the chords. See, we have this G6 here. You can also call it uh, um, uh, the a, a, a E minor. Try it over G, because we have a couple of chords running over the G now. So four and F. G, F, G, it's a G7, you see, just omitting the, the, the root here, we have the G7, and then, and then, bluesy, F sharp, diminished, bluesy, or gospel. And if you followed my gospel piano tutorial, um, I told you that uh, we can, we have this, um, we have this, uh, if we have one a melody, a, like a single voice melody, then we can often put chords parallel to each other and it sounds great. C, F dim, sharp diminished, you see, it's a diminished chord. You see, another uh, like dissolving of the melody, playfully. And you see, we do a lot here with the major blues scale, as we do in gospel tunes. And this is very much gospel here. Dissolved melody, melody and with this leading bass and here. Same target note is at the chord note and we garnish it just approaching the target note below the melody is here. And now we have these a wonderful chords. It's really a beautiful song. Um, I very much like the Ray Charles version. Uh, it can be done in a really soulful way. Uh, now we are here on the bass with the with the D, which just goes in octaves. So and now we this is our melody. So what can we do with it? Here, is the G um, uh, is the G diminished over D? The G, the D seven over um, over uh, uh, D. Yes, of course. Uh, where am I? Where am I, Christian? And G7. Then we have this. This is also. Uh, this this has been done everywhere in uh, classical. You see D7 with A in the bass. Uh, you can use it in gospel, in classical, in, in blues, in pop. Of course, it's briefly the G7, G7, and the dominant of um, G7. So it always fits. It's the dominant of. Uh, the D D7 is a dominant of G, just with the A in the bass, and with the leading bass here, uh, it sounds perfect. And again, dissolving the melody. And now look at listen to this. Yeah, I think this is not by me. Of course not. We have the G um, with the uh, F in the bass here. Beautiful chord. Yeah, C with E in the bass. Again, following the melody with chords. And 
ornamentation. And we have again G7 and again leading with the G7. So understanding the chord, I always pray that helps you learn the piece. We have the F with the A. You see all these chords with the leading bass, always leading. Um, um, we want to go to C and do this with this root, route. You say route, huh? G7 with B and we are coming to C. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And again. Ooh, again one of those uh, wonderful leading chords. We have this C going where the second degree of, of C, which is D minor seven, leading to C7 with E and This is this sound I had from Oscar Peterson. Ba, 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 ba. So beautiful little thing. Of course, Ray Charles does do and all the traditionalists do it. And uh, hold on. And here we are. Uh, we have uh, uh, with C with G in the bass. See, very gospelly. That that is truly gospelly. And again, we have these octaves in the left hand. And and if you want, so here we have. You can either say G7, but you can also say like we uh, uh, play the D minor on top. It's either G sus or D minor of the G octave. As you can see, if you see the small lettering in the computer display, the small one is always how it can also be interpreted. You see, we have the uh, a big one is G7 sus with the uh, sus4, as this uh, app calls it, or we have in small lettering the D minor here with the G in the octave. Many chords can be interpreted in many ways or at least in two. So now I gotta find my place uh, back in the shit music. Where am I? Da, 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 da. And this is, this is blues. This is blues, going from A flat seven to the dominant. And we go to the... Ah, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a classic, this. Um, this little lick here always sounds great. Hold on. And some elements repeat. If something works, why break it? And here again we have a, a dissolving. Uh, I chose here to choose triplets like. Uh, 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 where were we? Uh, See, here we use, uh, we, uh, this will be the main melody, and here I just solve it with the... Uh, see, has a great effect. And... Doom. And... And... If you can, trill it. Again, this is similar in both choruses. The uh, syncopation, um, and again, and here we have this be, uh, the one before, just with tetrachords. Here, in the beginning, we have the G diminished again. You remember that D seven. Remember that. Here, that repeats just an octave higher, and and again with uh, now. Again, you see here. Again, um, dissolve the whole thing with triplets, which.
moved before. I think I had played it uh, just with the quarter notes in here. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. One, one, and two, and it's the G with the F. Ah, the display shows something else. So the display is uh, telling you, yeah, you see, if I, if I play the G, then it, it sees it right. You see, now it's G7. Can you see it? With F in the bass. Um, so if I if it changes now if I l uh, don't play the G but your brain knows it's G um, I don't know why, why he's saying like B diminished ah no clue no it's not even right don't trust any app don't trust they they try to manipulate you um, to learn wrong piano and here we have one and two and three and four and one and two and Have this up leading up the run up as before like before with a little with just a little bit of difference here about variation uh, we don't want to go too wild on this beautiful piece and and now slow it down the ending and you know this one of course just withholding the C there was we go from D flat 7 to oh I played like this okay now it's coming this slow replay. I hope you like it I hope it's civilized my friends uh, I hope I did it in a respectful way um actually i i think i did i i think i made a quite nice version of this see my next one um have a couple of nice days and learn this learn this <laughs>